What's going on everyone? Jason here bringing you another seed showcase for 7 Days to Die on console. This time around, Valencia. Now, Valencia has one main hub city, 9 towns, 4 four ways, 11 traders. It does have a booby trap and it does have one of the log cabins in the snow biome. If you know the log cabins that I'm talking about, uh, it's the one where you will find a forge along with the Mountaineer's Chest, which uh, usually holds the uh, herbal antibiotic recipe. Now, when people ask me about seeds, uh, Valencia is, or has always been, my top tier choice. Uh, maybe pretty much similar to uh, Destination Zero without most of that water. Uh, but in terms of being overall pretty damn good, yeah, Valencia does rank in the top tier of uh, best seeds that I've ever seen. And one of the best reasons for it is the biomes. Every town is in a decent biome, so it's either, you know, forest, snow biome, things of that nature. And pretty much houses everything that you will ever need in a long-term game. Now, if you're new around here, obviously, I will start with the main hub city. I will then go with this path right here, south, counterclockwise. I will stop at every town, four-way, at which point you can pause the video and write down the coordinates, which will be up here. And then afterwards, I will hit every trader, do the same. Or just, you know, keep coming back and looking at it. Choice is totally up to you. I'm just trying to be convenient for everybody. So let's get started. Obviously, Main Hub City is pretty much at the 0, zero mark. Come to this line right here. And let's go south. And immediately we hit this uh, green town right here. Now this town does have the shed bunker. And it does have a passing gas with a workbench. Keep going south and we hit our first four-way. Now this four-way right here is absolutely uh, a gem. On the left side, there is a passing gas with a workbench. And right across the street from it is an O'Reilly's Auto Parts with another workbench. Keep going south. That's the end of the map. And we come to this town right here. I did not see a bunker. Uh, the thing to note about this town right here, though, is Wasteland does breach right here in the corner. And... Right there is the uh, dead zone, radiation zone, whatever you want to call it. So if you come to this town here in the corner, uh, stay away from this corner right here. That's uh, pretty much instant death if you ain't careful. It clips right on that corner, so you can pretty much hit that whole town without having to worry about anything. But just keep that in mind. Come up to this town right here. Now this town does have a shed bunker, or actually I should say well bunker. Yeah, well bunker. My bad. I didn't see a shed bunker. Of course, I didn't go through the whole town. Keep going up. And we hit another four-way sitting right here. Main hub city should be right there, so we're good. And this four-way sitting up right here in the corner. Right here is another town, another good biome, and this one does have both style bunkers. Just keep in mind, uh, this turns into wasteland right here, and then into burnt forest, so it's pretty close to uh, kind of crappy, but as far as loot goes. Then we got this uh, snow town right here. Now this snow town does have... A wall bunker. Keep heading north, west. And we come to this gem up here. Now this one does have a shed bunker. Head down south to another snow town. 
And this one does have both style bunkers. And back east, there's Hub City. And we got this wonderful green town sitting right here, which is where I set up my base all the time. And this one does have both style bunkers as well. Keep moving south. And we have a four-way sitting here in the uh, burnt forest. Move back over here, and we got this town sitting right here. And this one does have both style bunkers as well. Keep on moving south, and we come to this half and half town. Uh, green and desert. And unfortunately, there is no bunker in this one. But there is a well bunker sitting right outside of town, but that is burnt forest. Come back over here, and there's that four-way again. So yeah, not bad at all. Now, as far as traders go. Got Trader Bob sitting here in the uh, wasteland just south of the Hub City. And if you don't know, uh, if you try to avoid wasteland as much as possible, I completely understand uh, but he's actually really, really easy to get to. If you get a bunch of wood frames. And if you do like I do. I actually line the path. On both sides with uh, wood frames. Uh, that way I can actually just drive right up to him. Without having to worry about driving off into the wasteland and exploding. And then when I get to a trader. Uh, I try to find that border. Uh, where you can finally put a frame down. And then I just make myself a path to the front door. And voila. As long as you stay on those frames, you're pretty much solid. Let's just make sure that's still him. Okay, next trader is Trader Hugh. All the way here in the west. Trader Bob sitting here. Good old uh, burnt forest. And then Trader Wreck up here in the northwest. Now this one I do want to point out as a warning. Uh, you can see this turns into wasteland right here. But it does not clip into his, uh, uh, his uh, property. So you can actually run right up here. Uh, and be safe. You know, as long as you don't go up here. And this road right here, do not pass this. Uh, the, you'll see, if you were visually here, uh, you can visually see the road actually come and curve. But it does clip into the dead zone. Uh, so, yeah. Go to the trader, and then turn around and come back out. And, of course, I freaking lost my spot, because... Try to zoom in, and it never fails. Okay, there we go. Now you got him over here. It's been a long time since I played on Valencia, so I think this might be Joel. And apparently I got a wandering horde while I'm sitting here. Uh, here's uh, Trader Jimmy in the plains. It's okay, they'll uh, die all on my spike, so I'm not really worried about it. And then a trader sitting right here outside of the half-and-half half biome town. I guess they were anxious to see the map, too. And then another trader, Hugh, sitting uh, over here. They're almost parallel uh, with each other on both sides of the map. Trader up here. Now, this trader is sitting in Wasteland. And to get to him is more of a pain in the ass than anything. Uh, as you can see, I actually came over here, jumped into the water, followed the dirt path, jumped back in the water, and kept on going until I got to see him. Uh, in my mind, not worth going to. Then you got Trader Bob all the way over here, hiding out by the dead zone as well, in the south. 
And last but not least, I believe this was uh, Trader Jimmy as well. All the way on the uh, East Coast. Right next to that town. So thankfully, almost every trader, or at least every town, has a trader relatively close to it. Uh, making, at least getting to one trader, a uh, really good convenience. Nope, I think they all died. Okay, now as far as the uh, booby trap itself, it's sitting right here. As you can see, it's right between the town that I live in and Hub City. And conveniently, just northwest uh, of it, is the log cabin. Sitting right there. So, final thoughts. Pretty much almost every town, while there might not be a workbench in almost every town, uh, there is at least some convenience to find one. Like even me, I spawn over here. Uh, the first time I played, I spawned right by the booby trap. Uh, came to, uh, found this town anyway. Came here, set up, and workbench is right there. So, you know, once I looted the town and found a wrench, it wasn't hard for me to get a, a free workbench. Uh, not to mention, there's a forge sitting right there in the log cabin if I really wanted it. And there is a pop of pills sitting in this town as well, so chem station, uh, easy peasy. And I will say, every town has a lot of good things to loot. Uh, that's another thing about this map. Uh, the only town that's kind of barren is the snow town up here. But it does have like a shotgun messiah and things like that. Uh, but unfortunately up here it's pretty much just the... Uh, pretty much like uh, the garbage dump. POI. Uh, but if you want to build a snow biome. You know. A lot of open land for you to do that. And nearly every town at least has a uh, prison. So, if you want to live in a prison, in the snow, you can live there. Now, there's a prison in my town. I think there's a prison in that one. There's a prison in that one. Uh, it's ridiculous. They, they definitely put a lot of prisons on this map. Uh, but overall, like I said, uh, between Destination Zero that I found and this one, these are definitely two of my top tier ones that I would consider playing on. Uh, especially for a long-term game, because there is a lot of places to go. A uh, lot of traders and a lot of places to loot. So, any other final thought of mine would be, if anyone still questions why I point out four ways, uh, compare this one to Destination Zero for pretty much why I put value on four ways. You know, this one has, you know, nine towns, the main hub city, and only four four ways. But then you look at Destination Zero with its insane number of four-ways. And all those four-ways have POIs to keep on looting. You know, and a four-way is a potential town down the road. You know, this, this could have been a four-way instead of a town. You know, things of that nature. Uh, so that's why I've been feverishly looking for new seeds. Because there's always that potential to find another Destination Zero. But instead of all those four-ways... Maybe I can find one with a lot more towns. Uh, just making an insane map and hopefully in a good biome mixture as well. So that, that's kind of where my drive is. So hopefully this was informative. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. That's the whole purpose. I mean, these guys are pissy out there. Um, and other than that, if you liked it, obviously I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Uh, it does help me out. Algorithm and all that wonderful good YouTube crap. And until next time. Hope everything is good. And take it easy everyone.